my dear friends in Christ Jesus. You reflect upon today's reading. The first reading from the book of prophet Isaiah. Where he see how the prophet laments when God, God's presence is away from him. Or other words, when he is away from God. And he also rejoices when he all the more is in communion with God. When he is in communion with God, that is, he tells us the abundance of life. Coming to the gospel, we have the same subject where Jesus speaks about his communion with his father. He tells, whatever my father does, he is able to see it and he is able to do it. I suppose when Jesus did miracles, especially Jesus extended his healing towards the sick. Uh, say for example, yesterday we reflected upon the, the crippled man at the pool of Bethsaida. I am sure that at the pool of Bethsaida, other than that crippled man, there were so many people, so many sick, lying and uh, craving for the healing. But only, only one person was healed. Why? Why God did not have mercy on others? Only one person who was uh, suffering from his crippleness for the last 38 years, only one was healed because before, I suppose, before he healed him, he saw God, his father, healed him already. Or his father communicated to him about healing that particular person who was at the, at the pool of Bethsaida. Only one person. So he got the command from his father to touch him and heal him and Jesus healed him. So that was the connection. That was the relationship with Jesus to his father. Sometimes we also say, I can do everything with God. And we experience that we cannot do anything without God. So if we are also in communion with God, if we are also in intimacy with God in prayer, we can also do such uh, extraordinary things. So how this communion can be nourished, can be nurtured? Only in prayer. In prayer. When we reflect upon Jesus' life, we see every day he had the habit of spending hours in prayer, early morning He prayed, he spent time in speaking to his father, conversing with his father, talking to him, listening his father. My dear friends, we are in the season of Lent. Let us focus on God and godly things. Let us focus on our prayer life. 
let us focus on the goods the gifts and fruits of the holy spirit that is within us